Hi everyone, this is Mike Gore, and welcome back to my perfect playthrough of Xenogears. Uh, last time I went a little hard, a little far through the, into the game that I intended, I basically made, reached the point where, uh, Ellie left my party, and there were a couple reasons why I decided to go back to not save my game where I left off. Which is fine, because it's only about 10 minutes. It's better, First of all, she has unique equipment that she'll take with her if I don't remove it. Second of all is because of this. While grinding for items, I basically realize... If you cast fire on these guys, you kill them. Or you perform a fire elemental attack, whether it's a death blow or skill. And oh yeah, yeah, for a strangle and circle to cancel out. And I just did that just once, just to prove my point. Ah oh, shit. Must have had skipped Ellie's turn by mistake. So yeah, I have to cast fire twice on her, on these, on these guys. Well, just once actually. Just cast them twice to kill them. This is the third one. Instead of sometimes dropping hob jerkies, they drop hob steaks. And just to sh and just to uh, cross out all the X's and all the Y's, here's my biz fruits from the ar from the. Uh, Armor grubs in the first, which can only be fought in the first area. And here are the hob jerkies and hob steaks I maxed out on. So now I no longer have to grind for these items anymore. I am ready to. Wait, let's. Let me just double check. My skills. Uh, Hagen's at 91, and the Breakthrough's at 90. So I'm actually getting really close to pit learning some, uh, new, uh... Some new Death Blows. And they're at the right level to actually learn these now. All right, that's the path we need to take. Oh. All right, square X. Square X. Square X. Square X. All right, now let's check out the results. Huh. I have to be... Oh. Alright. Let me check the skills again. 95. Oh! So, Ellie actually learned Breakthrough already. However, her level is too low. 
which means she won't be able to use it for quite a while. That's basically how we want to go about with And she also has 69 Double Shock, and uh, 60 Sky Attack, 61 Bright Spark, so all that's nice. So, I'm just... Update my notes. And I want to make sure that Faye learns completes his uh, condition. You know what? Ah, oh, shit. I went the wrong way. I can still barely see, though my eyes are re have readjusted to this freakishly dark screen. Alright. Square X. I'm gonna defend here and have Faye take a throw of this game. So just one more. So I guess I only need just one more. Wait, ah. I did say I needed one more. It doesn't matter if I miss or not. Because I no longer need any more hob jerkies or hob steaks. Alright, my level is high enough. like I will need to... It doesn't look like I can remove anything. However, I can still remove her accessories. However, I can't remove her weapons, so that's basically... You know what? I'm gonna put her on. You know what? Let's leave her on Arcane Rods for now. Because she's max. Because we maxed out on those already. So, yep, yeah, I have maxed out Hagen, and I just need to hit the right level to use it. Say one, sixty-two, sixty-two, eighty-five, seventy-seven, seventy-four. By the way, I should probably keep doing square X because that will bolster both double shot, 
Sky Attack and uh, for Ellie, as well as Hoten and uh, Tambu and Ryujin as well. I won't be able to learn these until I'm at the right level. I assuming it's the right level to. And this is a scripted battle, so that's fine. Square X. I'm gonna keep doing Square X, even though I can't use its death blow. Square X. So, soul. And I'm actually going to. Pause the recording for a bit so I can catch up, so I'll be right there. And I'm basically right back where I left off last time. Oh no. And I'm not gonna save my game this time. Because I don't need to, because this guy is a total pushover. Ellie! And just to prove how strong he is, she's unconscious. Um... Okay, I'm just gonna do one attack. I can actually kill this guy in one or two hits. And this guy did nothing. Alright, I want to see if I can maybe drop his hit points just a little bit more. And then turn him into a cinch. That's a Rankar Dragon, the first boss of the game. And you're supposed to be dealing shit damage to him and clearly staying no chance, but, uh... All right, here's a cut, uh, uh, an upcoming cutscene. Hey! Wait, that's I recognize that thing from the top, from the house on the hill, Satan's place. Hey! I have been searching for you. Here, use this. Hey, hold on a second. To tell me I can use it is one thing. Ellie. Damn it. Doc, I have a favor to ask. I will defeat this monster, but if it looks like I'll go out of control like last time, then shoot me. Faye, let us pray that that won't happen. Alright. Now it's time to... Alright, 
I just need a ooh. You know what, let's try a guided shot on this guy. And that looks really fucking badass. And that, and that did one-shot this guy, I don't know what will. And I got skill, a new item called skills for my effort. Faye, are you all right? Yeah, I guess so. That fight with the Rankar was remarkable. An ordinary gear could not defeat that monster, and you certainly keep yourself in good shape. Why did you bring this here, Doc? This? You mean Weltall? Weltall? This is the gear that destroyed our village. Why did you bother bringing it here? I never want to see another gear again. I understand how you must feel, but in order to protect yourself, you need a certain degree of strength. Even more since we are being pursued. I agree that a certain degree of strength is needed for self-defense. If it weren't for this gear here, Ellie and I'd be in that Rankar stomach right now. No, not really, I would have kicked its ass anyways. But its power goes beyond what is necessary. Does one really need the power to destroy everything? I don't need that kind of power. I just hate gears. Faye, using power being used by power, is that not a problem of the heart? If humans do not use their power for wrong, it can be a good thing. I believe such power can help us. In that respect, I know you will be fine. It sure helped you out this time. Am I right? I want to believe that, but something is holding me back. This gear. Well, whatever. At least Ellie is safe now. She seems to have come to. She seems to have come to. Huh? I'm Satan, a friend of Faye's. You almost did not make it. If Faye had not helped you, I hate to think what may have happened. I was not too pleased with his rashness of trying to take on that rain car with just his bare fists. Bare fists? Well, I am glad that you were able to find a use for what I brought you. Let's just say we are borrowing what the Kislev army left behind. Oh. Thank you, Faye. This makes twice. Don't mention it. I'll just put on your tab. It is getting dark. Let us make camp now and start out early tomorrow. The both of you look tired and I need to make some repairs on our friend here. Repairs? We seem fine. We seem pretty fine enough as is. It is no use. The knee actuator and bypass circuit are both ruined. The actuator can be fixed, but the circuit needs to be replaced. Oh, having trouble sleeping there? Yeah. I imagine you would. You have had quite a day. This is the machine Faye used when the village was attacked. There was another machine left sitting on the outskirts of the village. Nil bear Darus Legus? It was yours, right? Huh. Just as I thought. The missing pot from the gear that made an emergency the landing in Lahan. The mysterious woman found wandering lost in the forest are actually one and the same person. Judging from your uniform, I would also say you are with the military. Am I correct? Now, who are you? I checked the ID tags of the soldiers who died in the attack on the Han. The design of their tags and the design of your uniform there is the same. 
Do not worry, they were given proper burials. But they may not have been too pleased to die in a foreign land. Maybe. Does Faye know about you? I don't think he has realized yet. Most likely. Faye knows nothing of the world outside Lahan. I see. So how come... In any case, it is best if we do not pry into each other's past anymore. But... Let's just say that I know a little more about the world than most do. Anyways, Ellie, I have a favor I must beg you to do. What is it? Go straight ahead and you will come to a road. And just keep going. Would you please leave us while Faye is still asleep? Unfortunate things keep happening around Faye. I would like to protect him if possible. I do not want him caught up in any vain struggles. I am also saying this for your benefit. Ellie, you do not belong here. Go back to your family. Um, I... Do not worry. I will not tell Faye what your true identity is. I will just tell him you went to meet up with your family. No, it is not that. I did something terrible to him. So, I want to apologize. Something terrible? Faye told me it was our fault your village was destroyed. Faye kept saying, if only they hadn't come. I called Faye a coward because he was trying to escape from the responsibility. But in fact, it was me who was trying to escape from taking the blame. If I hadn't crash landed there, they would all still be living peacefully now. All those innocent people wouldn't have been caught up in that tragedy. But I accused Faye. You are a rarity. I did not expect your people would ever think like that. To your people, surface dwellers are nothing more than domesticated animals, are they not? The shepherds, able, took control over the surface dwelling lambs, possessing the right to give life and death unto them as they see fit. Exactly, but you seem to feel responsibility toward Fay and the villagers. Why is that? I don't know myself. At Junk and I was taught that surface dwellers were stupid and base. That's why we have to control them. But... But upon me and Faye, something about him made you feel differently. Yes, he's no different than we are. In fact, he seemed more powerful. But this is something. Something we don't. He also risked his life to save me. Twice. Most of your people would feel ashamed at receiving such an act. That you are grateful to Faye. It's probably because of my father. He had an open mind to surface dwellers. My nanny was a surface dweller. No one knew about her, though. Besides, I am the same as Faye. The same? No, nothing. Never mind. I think I understand. I'm sorry. After just saying we should not pry. This is my nature, you know. My wife says I'm too persistent and I talk too much. But personally, I do not think I talk too much. It's probably best if you return home to your country. You really should not be here. I'll return to headquarters. But then what? You are worried. Yes. Worrying is natural. Even I used to worry once too, you know. Oh, a ton. Anyway, let me handle what to tell Faye. You had better go now. I have to admit that the translations, even if they're a little iffy at times, are actually really good. They still get their point across. It's just more of a grammatical struggle to comprehend some things. And we got ourselves yet another free end. Has Ellie gone yet? 
Oh, so you were awake. Yes, I woke up midway, so I only heard part of what you two were dis discussing. Ellie, so that's her name. Fate, she is... I know, it's not Ellie's fault. What happened to the village is all my fault. Took out all of my pent-up feelings on Ellie. I'm the one who should apologize. Faye, do not blame yourself. It was not your fault either. You were just trying to protect the village. Thanks, Doc. By the way, how is everyone from the village doing? It should be doing, not going. Do not worry. Yui is taking care of them. I told her to leave soon and take them all to a certain place. They should be safe for a while, so you just worry about yourself for now. Okay, Doc. Now think what we should do next. Shall we leave this forest and head for the desert town of Dazel? We may learn what Ava and Kislev are up to, not to mention gain some parts for Welto. The Lyra Ava is not going to sit back and let the other knight's fiasco go by unpunished. Alright, so Satan ha so Satan has joined our party. And oh thank god his level was able Thank God his level actually And he doesn't know any death blows, of course. But he does know Sasanami, which allows him to restore hit points, so that's good to know. So, basically, the death blow inputs should pretty much be the same all throughout, regardless of who you play as, so that's good enough. Alright, so I need to figure out where the hell I am. Where do I go? I guess I was saying the right way after all. Alright. What is that? I would assume it is an aerial battleship from Ava. An aerial battleship? I've never heard of Av having anything like that. Of course it does not come from Av originally. Most likely it belongs to the Gebler forces stationed in Av. Gebler? Special forces from the Secret Empire of Solaris known as Gebler. I'm sure you have heard something about them. They are an organization providing large-scale military aid to the Kino Vav. They showed up in Ignis several months ago. Until then, Av was being routed by Kislev. But with Gebler's help, they have managed to regain half their losses. They are now expanding their territory and gathering resources buried in the ruins. I've heard the village elders talk about it. Is Ellie a part of that? Quite possibly so. Their group has superior technology and power. As rumored, they are here solely to get the resources in the ruins. I'm surprised they are using something as powerful as that ship. Most be to suppress the recent boar skirmishes. So they are fighting the Kislev Empire. Yes, it seems they have found new ruins on the northern edge of Av. Those ruins are under a 500-year-old temple. Three weeks ago, Kislev took over those ruins. Most likely, they are fighting over that. Alright, I just wanna... And now it's time to continue forward. And I want to get into some random battles here. Alright, uh, this is, uh... Alright, that's great. Oh, those must have been the sand sharks. 
They don't seem to drop anything though, so that's kind of disappointing. Alright, I want to look at what Satan's stats are. I'm honestly kind of Wow, he's faster than Faye. Alright, I'm gonna get Boot Bolster or Satan's uh, death, blows, uh, death Blow count a bit. Because this is literally a ha Wait, I- wait, I should, uh... Alright, Triangle X. It should be Triangle X, so let me... Do that. Ooh. Triangle X. I'm just keep doing Triangle X so I could teach uh, Satan some actual to teach him some death blows. What? Oh. Kikuma learned. Alright, so... Triangle, triangle X. <coughs> Alright, so that's the next death blow I want to teach him. I mentioned that the world map music's pretty beautiful. Alright, now, next move I want- Oh, I realized that I defended with Satan. I'm not used to Faye going second. So... Or I want to see what his death blows are looking like now, because... I don't think I got any unique items from these enemy drops, so it's possible they carry nothing. And by the way, those guys kind of look like, uh... Maybe it's just me, but they kind of look like... Alright, Fu. I want to keep at it. Unfortunately, unlike in Final Fantasy VI, I can't have one character run away while the other one fights. It's more like Final Fantasy VII, VIII, and IX where everybody runs away as a team. I think I screwed that one up. Ooh, he learned Renki. It's 
So let me see where I'm at now with teaching Satan the necessary skills. Oh. Alright, so I need to do... Triangle, triangle... Triangle X... Triangle, triangle X... Alright, I'm gonna try one more. I'm gonna try and max out this next stuff, uh, whoa. And sorry, I'm just wasting my time here. You know, I'm gonna try going a little further along. Because I've actually heard that there's quite a bit of, uh. Right. Or the uh, apparently the, this area is just in the dunes f as far as the eye can see. So now he's level ten. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. It's triangle, triangle uh, X. Triangle, triangle X. Triangle, triangle X. Triangle, triangle X. Okay. Huh. And here's a death blow. So yeah, these planes are never ending. Triangle, triangle, X. Triangle, triangle, X. So I'm basically just grinding out here, so I can teach... What the hell? Alright. Now, let me look up... <laughs> Alright, so that's basically it. Uh, Fei Fong. So I'm just looking at what I need to bolster up. Do 
TTX SX TTTX TSX SCX XX SSX XTX All right, good. I now have everything I will never need. I'm gonna look, work on Satan's next uh, death blow, which is SX. It doesn't matter if it misses or not. SX, defend! SX! SX! So let me sh double check my death blow list. All right. Ooh. So I was not able to. an a soldier, huh? Yes. Here we are. And it looks like I am just about done with Jinrai. So one more SX should do. I'm gonna keep doing that sucks just in case. So yeah, my inputs are freezing for whatever reason. And that's it for uh, Satan for the time being. I wanna. Where? Where's the? All right, here it is.
I'm gonna make a quick save here. Well, I want to do a second save, just in case. Uh, that's a little pro tip. If you're doing perfect playthroughs like this and you don't have the whole game figured out, make a copy every single time. Alright, so... Oh, right. I want to remove... Where is glasses? You can't be serious. Do I lose all of his glasses? Oh, wait. No, I didn't. Oh. Thank God. Marshall. Wear, Marshall Cap, Stamina Ring. Well, let's do Power Ring instead. Yeah, I'm pretty. I'm my strong as well. Alright, now I can make a second file. And I have to press X to enter. This is Dazel. Yes, that is right. That's Ezra Town of Dazel. This town's lively. This is the center for all excavations in Av Anav. People come from all over Ignis to try and find the resources buried in the ruins around here. We should be able to find out what both Av and Kislev are up to here. And we also have to gather things we need to repair a Weltal. Repair a Weltal? Yes, we must exchange the broken parts of fixed Weltal. Otherwise, it will not be able to function at all. There is an ethos workshop in the southern part of this town. Let's go there, Faye. Yeah, okay, Doc. Let's check this place out, then. Alright. And as far as I'm aware, there aren't any items here. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Yeah, that's pretty good tips. But, uh... I need to go southwest. I do I...
Alright, so this place doesn't seem to have any... <coughs> ethos. So I could gear us how to do it the ethos. Only the ethos also talking about... Sorry about that. I'm... Maybe I go in here. Okay. Oh. Is that the end? I wonder what the deal is. Sand buggy. So I'm basically just looking around. I need to go where the shop is. Sure is no icy place. Well, in a place like this, you have to expect this kind of atmosphere. Yeah, but even so... Shut up! Who the hell is this? Where are you all yapping when- Oh! That's Big Joe! Can you all shut up? Here you are. I actually heard of Big Joe. Ha ha ha. You sure talk, Big. Can you dig for treasure as good as you talk? Oh, uh, yes, uh, You're so tough. I was looking for junk laying around. Why don't you do something more productive for once? If you ask me, you're a big put. Hey, stop it! This guy's trouble. He's looking wild. Ah, oh, shut! Just shut your trap! Ha 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 ha! That's right, run home to mama, little boys! <laughs> Damn you, you'll keep. Ha! Cowardly little punks. Why, this man sure likes to make his presence felt. So let's talk to him. You drinking too? This is my life campaign, especially in a sucky world like this. Everyone's searching for dough and dynamite. How unromantic. Me? What am I doing here? Whatever I please, I guess. Think you know about yourself? I'm gonna introduce myself right now, and by tomorrow I'll be a different person. If you don't understand that, I'll repeat. <laughs> don't count your chickens before they hatch. <laughs> you drinking too? Alright, he seems to just repeat himself. Uh, I don't think I'll need an inn here. Alright. Oh. Aquasol. 
Wait, I want to check my uh, notes. All right, I'm going to sell. And I won't wait, I want to look up where. It... Hold on, hold on, hold on. The desert. Survival tent versus a soul, leather. Alright, so I just need a cell, leather vest versus a soul. I need a cell leather vest. Oh. Oh, I see. All right. Where are you, leather vest? I can't believe I did that. I do not know how to adjust my equipment because it appears that leather vests I'm going to just move on and fake and sort all this out later.
This, this looks like an important building. Wow, oh, so this is the Ethos Workshop, they eh, Doc? Yes, Ethos Workshops are the only place that officially repairs gears. Let's see if we can get the parts we need to fix Weltall here. As I say, time is money, so we should do whatever we can do as soon as we are able to. Well, how can we help you? Sorry to bother you. Our gear is broken down, so I would like to buy some parts to fix it. Tough luck, huh? Can you tell me what you makes what make of parts you are after? Yeah, so I hope you're replacing the X29 model injection bypass circuit. That's the that's only used on the latest military models. We don't keep those kinds of parts in stock here. You can only get such special parts by placing an ore at the Ethos headquarters. This workshop is only for the repair of civilian gears. See, sorry to have bothered you. Sorry that we can't help you. Oh. Doc, do you have a moment? I need to talk to you. Yes, of course, Faye. So, Faye, what did you want to talk to me about? Well, Doc, it's about Weltall. Can't find the parts we need, so it, is it alright if we just don't fix it? Do not repair it? What is the problem, Faye? Well, we've been able to come as far as Diesel on our own. So does that show that we don't need Weltall as much as we thought? Actually, I've been thinking that once things cool down, I want to go back to Lahan and help rebuild. That's all I feel I can do now. See, if that is what you want, Faye, then fine. But I think we should try and move Weltall as far away from there as possible. Move it away? But why do we need to do that, Doc? It is only my speculation, but... I suspect the incident that evening occurred because the Gebler's special force stole a kids of military gear. Special force? You mean Ellie's group? Exactly. When I examined the broken gear in the village, I realized the Gebler pilot was riding a Kislev gear. He must have had some new technology involved in it for the Kislev army to send pursuit forces after it. New technology? I suspect that the Gebler force was out to steal a new experimental gear. I am sure news of the Special Forces failure has reached the capital. They will be investigating the lawn area to reclaim whatever parts of the new gear that they can find. Hold on, Doc. Won't the Kislev army still be in Lahan too? Most probably. And in that case, there will be a conflict between Av's inspection team and Kislev's pursuit troops. They find where we have him well tall. The armies will fight over who gets Veltal, and right near Lahan, too. So, to avoid any problems, we should move Veltal somewhere else right away. But we can't fix it in order to move it. Right, but staying here will solve nothing. Fortunately, this is the center of all excavation work in this country. There's bound to be some information on where we can find parts. Anyway, the fear is often worse than the danger itself. We should not let such fears hold us back. Uh, that's always a strange glitch.
Alright, so I'm just going to keep gathering intel here, because that's what you do in these sorts of games. And I just found uh, an easy-to-miss cutscene back there. I wonder... Oh, I guess it's just a box. Can't enter here either. I wonder how appreciative people are that I'm jumping all over their heads. Huh? What's going on? That's amazing, they're doing digging right next to this town too? This is an odd-run excavation site. The machines and gears found here are valuable resources that could turn the tide of the war. They are indispensable to the war effort. Anyway, Faye, let's move on. We have more pressing matters to do than taking in the sights. No way, man. I'm going to keep seeking out these cutscenes. Um, okay, where do I go? Oh. Aha! Uh -huh. I wanna... Let me see what's up there. Guess nothing. This is a sand buggy. That is it, Faye. I thought I would go away and get the parts we need for Weltall. Let's go back to the rental shop and rent out this buggy. What do you intend on doing, Doc? Well, leave it to me. Just you wait and see. Alright. For his back, do you want to rent it? Yes. Yes, that is right. Do you have any we can rent right now? Of course, the keys are in the ignition. You can take it now. Well then, if I may. Faye, I am going to the desert to search for parts for Weltall. Going to the desert, Doc? Are you going to excavate some ruins or something? Because the Vanava armies are confronting each other in the desert all the time. There's talk that their forces often break into battles over the ruins. What does that have to do with that gear? 
I search the battlefields for the wrecks of such army gears, I should be able to find the parts we need. Besides Woltol as a Kislev gear, so we need parts from Kislev gears. But, Faye, you are such a warrior. Things have a way of working out. You do not need to worry so much. Why not go kill some time at the bar until I get back? Doc. Hey, are you letting them go out there alone? Lots of fights break out in the desert. It's a real dangerous place. I've heard about a group of pirates running around attacking people on a sand cruiser. You really shouldn't let him go out there by himself. just goes wandering off there? If your friends are important to you, then don't let them get away. Especially if it's a lady friend. <laughs> I don't think so. Alright, I'm going to save my game right now. Because I think I have done enough. So, I'm going to just keep the other save point available just in case. So, without that all the way, I think that's it for now. If you like what you see, leave a like and subscribe to my channel. I'd greatly appreciate it. This is Mike Gorin, sign out.